What's up, everybody? So, make a little quick overview here real quick. I uh, got another package in the mail. <coughs> I ordered a couple knives. Ordered one as a gift, one for myself. And these are new releases from Buck. Sorry, my leg is a little sore and I'm trying to get some feeling back in it. Ouch. Um, Pearson and see. So, uh, two buck pocket knives. These are new releases for the end of 2018. They're a modern twist on a couple of their classic designs. So first up is the Buck 112 Ranger Slim in blue side tail. Okay. Now this particular knife, the classic version... It is just like the 110, which I have here. Okay, so this is the 110 version. And this is the 112 version. Both of these knives, the classic design is brass bolsters, wood handles, and, you know, they're five or six ounce knives to be carried in a, in a belt sheath. Um, the popularity of those knives and the following those knives have they're not going anywhere they're tried and true a lot of hunters carry 112s and 110s as their uh, skinny knife or field dressing knife um, but in order to open it more to the EDC market they figured that they would try to incorporate pocket clip, one hand opening, and a little bit lighter weight knife. So that's where these come in. They have two different styles. They have the Zytel, which is what these are. So plastic handles. And then they have the uh, the Pro Series, which is going to be in either black G10 or brown or uh, OD green micarta. Um, I chose the Zytel for one reason, one reason only, and that was, from what I understood watching early videos about these knives within the last week or so, is that the quality control on these are better currently than the ones on the Pro Series, which is kind of half ass backwards, but it happens with companies sometimes when they go into production, do the first or second run of a knife or any product. There's a couple tweaks that they have to make. But these are pretty good. And I'll go over them. So first off, the uh, the 112. And they come in all sorts of different colors. You can get both in blue, red, chartreuse, which is like a lime green, uh, black, red. So, uh, and this is red. I don't know if it comes up as like a pink or an orange, but it's red. <clears throat> so the uh, the 112 here is a really nice knife. It's size, if you have smaller medium hands, this thing fits like a dream. Very nice. See, I got a teeny bit sticking out the back there, not much. Um, I love the uh, the blade profiles on the, uh, the 110 series of knives. Um, that clip point is just classic. It's a little bit different on these than it is on the actual classic 110. Um, it's not as pronounced. The 110 has a really pronounced clip point. This is a mild clip point. It's kind of a drop point with a swedge on the top. So it gives it a clip point appearance, but it's not a true clip point. Um, for example, let's see if I have a clip point. I do have a clip point. All right. In comparison to a K bar, that is a clip point. You see the um, the difference. You 
It gives the profile, but it doesn't actually have the clip to it. So, um, ergonomically, great knife. Small, medium sized hands, this will fit you just fine. It's got a two and a half or so, two and three quarter cutting edge, about a three inch overhole. Blade length, um, very lightweight. This is about a two ounce knife. The, uh, you got the ambidextrous thumb studs, ambidextrous pocket clip. It's a back lock, so lefty, righty friendly. Tip up only. Um, I know some people are going to hate that clip. I don't mind it. I like it. I think it's unique and it, it carries well. It's a loop over clip. <coughs> now the 110. Same thing, kind of a modified drop point with a swedge. So it looks like a clip point. Um, I really wish they just took the blade profile from the 110 and the 112 and put it there, but whatever. Uh, got the dual thumb studs, got the dual position pocket clip, again, all the same, just in its big brother size. Um, now the one thing, this is going to be the gift that I'm going to give someone, and this is the one I'm going to keep. So, the one thing I've noticed, and I will critique this one on, is the position of the thumb studs. And I'm sure this is just the design, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So you see where the thumb stud is on the Ranger. You got a nice little gap between the thumb stud and the scale. It gives you ample room to get your thumb in there to operate the knife. Okay, and if you really wanted to, you can flick the knife. Okay, takes a little bit of uh, skill, but you play around with it and you can get the feel for where the, you need to put pressure and you can flick the knife. Now, without doing that, you can very easily just sweep the knife open. So, very smooth, pinned construction knife. Now, the 110. There is no gap between the thumb studs and the scales. All right, you see the difference. So, in order to actuate this thumb stud, I have to come instead of from maybe, oops, sorry, from the side and sweep it open. Or even from underneath and flick it open. I have no choice but to come from underneath and sweep the knife open. And Hopefully this loosens up over time because it is pretty stiff. It's workable, but stiff. Um, I mean, there's no problem with it. You can open it one-handed, but point being, it is not nearly as smooth as this one. I mean... And you can kind of feel the grittiness to the pivot as you're operating it. So the tolerances on this is a little tighter on the pivot, I believe. Now, the other thing is the centering on the two. This is perfectly centered. This one is off slightly, but I don't have a problem with it. For $30... I can't complain. I mean, I've my Enduras here. Yeah, they're about centered. But uh, these are very comparable knives in size. Okay, pretty much identical. Very, very, very similar. Um, blade shape. Or blade uh, length is the same. 
just different profile on the blade, different profile on the handle. But overall, the same, exactly the same size knife. So, you probably can compare this fairly well to the Delica, size-wise, as a uh, competitor. <coughs> but I figured I'd uh, just show them off here. Uh, they're using Buck 420HC, which fairly good steel, good heat treat, easy to resharpen, holds an edge fairly well. Besides the kind of nitpicky stuff, fit and finish on these things is pretty darn good. Um, extremely lightweight, like I said earlier. It's they're sub three ounce knives. They're two and a half or so. Very lightweight. Um, so my recommendation, if you're looking for just a purely EDC little pocket knife, go with the Ranger. If you're looking for a little bit more, uh, I wouldn't say heavy duty, because these are not heavy duty knives, but if you're looking for a little bit more reach and uh, utility, I guess, then you might want to go for the Hunter. But both are very solid options. See you guys later.